Police say a parolee absconder is in guarded condition at Strong Memorial Hospital after being shot by state police. Police say the man lunged at police with a knife when they tried to catch him. Christian Garzone is on the corner of Hudson and Fairbanks right now in Rochester, close to where all this went down. Christian, what's the latest? Well, Adam, this happened around 11.15 this morning. A U.S. Marshals Fugitive Task Force, which includes the state police, state parole, the Rochester Police Department, and the Monroe County Sheriff's Office, were looking for a wanted parole violator at 107 Fairbank Street, just right over, over my shoulder there. According to state police, the suspect made his way into an adjoining residence, 105 Fairbanks, and tried to hide in the basement. When members of the task force tried to take the suspect into custody, he refused to follow the officer's instructions and made an aggressive move towards the officers with a large butcher knife. He was shot in the shoulder and is now a strong and guarded condition. Police say prior to making entry into 105 Fairbanks, officers attempted to taser the suspect but were unsuccessful. Before he was shot, the suspect also gained entry into the home and held a female resident against her will while holding that butcher's knife against her back. The suspect is in his 30s and on bail. Major Barry Chase said the trooper firing at the suspect felt his life was in danger. The Marshal Service saying it's not all that out of the ordinary for this task force to be out and about year round. I'm not going to get into any details whose resident this is, but this is a common occurrence. The task force makes over 400 arrests a year, removing violent offenders. Uh, from uh, Buffalo, Rochester, so it's, it's very common for us to be out here in a group. It's not just U.S. Marshals, it's the state police, the sheriff's office, the RPD, and so it's very common for us to be out making arrests. Let's put it this way. Our officer felt he was threatened, and he used deadly physical force. Now, state police are the ones taking over this investigation. Hudson is now open, and Fairbank Street behind my shoulder there remains closed to traffic. In Rochester, Christian Garzone, News 8. Adam, right back to you.